All right, uh, this is the checkup on the Vermi Bag Max, which has the African night crawlers in here. I've been gone for almost, has it been four weeks? Um, so I have no idea. Just got back in town. Um, and in fact, I'm leaving again for another week. Um, tomorrow. So I need to get these guys checked and fed. Hopefully they're doing okay. Hopefully nobody's died. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Anyway, well, there's a few mats in here. Okay, let's see. And normal, there's some some guys in the bubble wrap, which is fine. So it looks like they're doing okay. Oh, let's see what we have here. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Well, it's very dry along the edges. Very, very dry. And I'm not going to dig that much. I just want to see how they're doing. So obviously I need to put some water along the edges. Um, but other than that, they look fine, I think. I don't know where they're all at. I know I have more worms than this. They're all younger ones, but they're... Okay. This is for me big max. It's big, which makes forces me to walk around. And... Okay. Here's some uh, bigger worms. They're across the back. I don't know if you can see that or not. So they're all still here. Yay. When I return, I will be doing a harvest, because it looks like um, everything's processed here. Plus, when I put them in, the, um, the bedding was partially processed already. They do look a tad thin, but I think they'll be happy with um, what I feed them, but mostly I think they need moisture. Having the bubble wrap on top helps, but since the sides of the vermi bag also breathes, um, requires more moisture. Let me look in the center here. Oh yeah. There's no foul odors. They're not in a in any kind of groups or anything like that, but they are here. They are alive. They are wiggling. All right, so let me go ahead, put some food on top, so they, looks like they've eaten everything except, you know, what the normal takes a long time to break down, and I know I gave them a lot of food. So here we go. here for them. It's like some uh, sunflower seeds. There's some romaine, 
sunflower seed shells, I should say. Romaine, um, old cabbage, some more um, corn husk, dried or cooked, however you want to see it or say it. Let's see. I'm going to put another bag of food on top of this before putting on some bedding. More corn husk, here's old onion, more banana peels, yeah I didn't see any banana peels from prior, from the prior feeding, um, let's see, rinds from uh, orange or tangerine, more sunflower seed shells, and that's it. Okay. Looks good. Put some moist bedding on. And let's see some uh, neem seed meal. Normally don't pour it like this, but they have, they're so dry on the side, so they need it a lot on the sides. It's not enough to make it drip, but they don't need any in the center, so I'm not going to put any in the center. And that should be it for them. They'll be good for a week. I'm glad they're still alive. No harm has befallen them. Here is the bubble wrap. And that's it. And we'll see you next week. And thank you for coming on this journey with me.